goes without saying it's um it's great to meet you how are you yeah good thanks glenn great to meet you too mate um, thanks for uh thanks for having me on no no problem at all this uh this film is really unique it's what a story um i'm just wondering off the bat what caught your attention when you first read the script um, well, Jake Ryan, who plays Kane, is a, a very, very dear friend of mine. And um, so he, he was already cast and uh, uh, they were tossing around ideas for Abe, the character of Abe, and he mentioned me to Blair and then um, Blair said, yeah, yeah, send him the script. And, uh, and Jake sent it to me and I got it late at night and I've got three kids and uh, so tired at night time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but I started reading it and I couldn't stop, so I read it all and then texted him back at 11 30 and said, Yeah, I'm in. Just um, you know, Blair has a, a wonderful um ability to write so well for this world, um, the underworld and and darker characters, colorful characters, shall we say. And uh, Abe really jumped out at me, and um, you know, I thought, you know, I was really interested in that old school um gangster. Um, versus the new blood, you know, played so crazily by Nathan Phillips. So, um, um, yeah, I just I, I jumped at it because you know these roles don't don't come around very often, and you know I wanted to support you know these young brave filmmakers in in Blair and and Timothy Carr, the DOP, who did such a great job. And I saw where he just picked up an award at the Aussie Cinematographers Society. Amazing. So, the best feature under three mil. So, you know, hats off to him. He made Brisbane look very sexy and um, and Brisbane looked fantastic. I mean, it could be anywhere in the world, which is great. Um, and, um, yeah, no, it was great. It was just great to support these. And now I'm really good mates with Blair. And, um, and uh, he's, you know, he's just about to kick off on his next one called Homeward. Um, with Jake as well and and myself and uh, which is pretty exciting. That's kind of gearing up for, to shoot on the Gold Coast at the end of uh, end of January. Awesome. So I assume you don't have any sort of reservations or hesitations jumping in with a first time director like that. No, absolutely not. I just directed my first short film actually, and you know, no, absolutely not. Like you just, especially when you know when the scripts like that, the, the characters are like that. So colourful and uh, fully formed and, and dangerous and it's complex. You know, they're complex characters, all of them. I mean, the underworld is, is a complex place. <laughs> and don't know who to trust or, you know, and he writes so well for it, you know, coming from a, a boxing promotion background his whole oh, life. So, he, he, you know, on the Gold Coast. So he uh, he's met a few of these funny characters. <laughs> yeah, well, that makes a lot of sense. These characters uh, are yeah. straight out of that world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he writes really well for them, and you know, and and again, this next one, Homewood, is you know, a lot of action and and characters and that humour, that kind of underworld humour as well. And um, so yeah, no, I have no problem with it at all. You know, we all got to start somewhere, and you know, um, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and you know, as much, you know, I try and bring as much of you know what I've learned to to whatever job. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's such an impressive debut. Sorry, Ben, did I cut you off? Oh, you're muted, mate. You're muted. <laughs> ben, Ben's <laughs> mic's not. Is that better? There he is. Yeah. I, I've been talking the whole way through. <laughs> <laughs> just haven't noticed. Yeah, I agree with I did just... you said, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, like, I did just want to ask, um, you know, how deep did you kind of get into this character? And by that, I mean... Do you really have three kids or are you just off your meds? <laughs> uh, no, I do. And um, it's it's a tricky one because, yeah, th these characters, they, they cost you, um, you know, because you, you kind of got to go there. So um, um, it was, it was, yeah, I went there and, um, and, it, and it, you know, it costs, it hurt, but, you know, I, I think it shows and, and you, you kind of have to and um, it's hard. It's great to shoot up on the Gold Coast because I'm away from my family and kids and I don't want to be coming home mm. after days shooting and, and trying to drop drop that facade, um, you know, completely. It's just best to just stay away, I think, and um, and keep keep any any um, inkling of Abe away from my wife and kids. Um, yeah. I'm glad I'm glad that Ben brought that up because 
playing a crime boss is like a, a tough character to play without falling into cliche and caricature, but I think you got it right. Were you much oh, involved you. with fleshing out Abe uh, or was what we saw as he was on the page? I mean, I guess the words are on the page and, and the story, but I, I kind of um, I took my inspiration from, um, you know, the fact that he was old school, mm. um, an old school gangster with old school school um you know beliefs where there used to be honor amongst thieves um and what we're seeing you know today in today's underworld is there's there's no honor anymore it's who mm. could be the nastiest so um, um i just kind of took my um and vigo morganson in um well eastern promises oh, yeah. he was kind of a reference for me that i just came straight to mind so in terms of the wardrobe and the hair and stuff i kind of angled towards that um i thought i think he's he's one of the greatest world's greatest actors and what he did in that film was you know pretty special so i kind of that that was a reference for me and then just you know yeah. made you know and it's the when you when you approach a character like this it's it's like, okay, so what are the things that are similar? So he was a father and, and a loving husband. So I tick, I can tick those boxes. So then I, I don't have to work on those parts. I've got to work on all the other parts that, that I'm not, which is, you know, all the darker stuff. So Yeah. There was, there was no nude fight scene in the bathroom in this particular nah. film. Nah. <laughs> I asked Blair, I said, hey, dude, where's the nude fight scene in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> I was um, I was actually going to ask you though, like, was the tattoo real? But it, clearly, it is. You had your arm up before, and you yeah, yeah, I've got a, a few tattoos, and uh, normally they have to get covered up, um, but not for this, obviously. Um, yeah, yeah, they're 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 appropriate. So, and I think I've got another one as well, designed particularly for the film as well, and put amazing. On. Um, you you mentioned there that um. Viggo Mortensen was a little bit of an you know influence or inspiration for you. Do you know if Blair was influenced by any other particular films? Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to say. <laughs> I'm not sure. I can, I'm not sure I can say. No, that's okay. That's okay. I, 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 I might. Uh, he might kill. <laughs> no, no. I mean, he, like I said, he's he knows a lot of these colourful characters from his boxing promotion. Yeah, life. So, and that's what jumps off the page. He just writes so well for them. So that's clear. He he knows these people. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. It, it just it, it stands out above a lot of um, Australian crime films. It is quite different to a lot of them. Um, that's sort of why I was sort of wondering where his mind was at. But yeah. the boxing world makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think I you know Nathan Phillips did a wonderful job with his character because he just you know Nathan brought himself and his own personality to it. You know, and that and that's kind of what our, our job is, is. It's there on the page, and now you just you create that person and try and bring them to the screen. And and you know, you couldn't get any more different gangsters than Abe and Nathan's character, so we just Frankie. So, which was great. That and that was the whole point. You know, made that chess game really work. And and that, he, he's the the young guys coming up to knock off the old school Abe. You know, so yeah. and then hence he hence he has to split his personalities to try and deal with this new world, this vicious new world, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, did I cut you off a second ago, Ben? Oh, no, look, I, I just I did want, just want to ask, did you did you have a chat with the other personalities and talk about what, if any, similarities you're going to have or, you know, how, how you're going to kind of work that that kind of angle? That, yeah, uh, yeah, ab absolutely. We did. We, um, you know, it, it was a tricky one because... Um, we all look so different, and Martin, Jake, and I. And but I think you know, I think it it kind of works in in terms of us. There's there's certain similarities. Jake and I, in particular, did did a lot of work together, and um, I kind of almost channeled him a lot, the character of Kane, rather than. And I'm, I'm not sure. It, it, I don't I don't think it went the other way because I think Kane kind of once. A becomes Kane, then that's you know that's the end. Like that's uh, he's unleashed, yeah. You know the beast, I guess. So yeah, and and we, Jake and I are like brothers, so it was pretty easy. To <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and you, you talked about Nathan Phillips there. Like he's he's a 
he's a wildcat. <laughs> We've spoken to him before on on our show. What's yeah. he like to work with? Just as far as like behind the scenes. Yeah, uh, he's amazing. They're all calling me the relic um, <laughs> because I'm the oldest. So uh, I didn't know quite know how to take that, but. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, no, he's great. He's fantastic. When when you're in a scene, shooting a scene with Nathan, you just don't know what what you're going to get. And I didn't want to know, which was great, particularly the chess game. You know, I, I didn't want to know what he was going to do, and and you know, it was great because he didn't do the same thing twice. And so yep. it's you know, you, you're on your toes all the time, and 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 I think you know, it went it, it worked both ways with what I was doing as well and it was great. It was, you know, it's exciting that that kind of acting is, uh, that's the acting that interests me and it's that electri- electrifying acting where you, the actor doesn't even know what they're going to do and, and that's Nathan to a T, you know. Yeah. I imagine it to be a really fun and thrilling sort of world to immerse yourself in, but um, do you prefer playing good guys or bad guys? Both. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, the actor's answer <laughs> yeah i mean i just started to doing started doing a bit more comedy which is wonderful because it, it, it doesn't cost as much <laughs> personally and uh it's um yeah it's fun you, you know you go to work you have fun and you come home you're not nearly as tired or as drained or as uh as battered or bruised so um <laughs> Yeah, but but I do I do love the darker characters as well, and have have played many in my time, and and hope to continue to just you yeah. know you're good at it. Choose them wisely. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, you've played so many amazing characters um throughout your career. So removing Thank Kane you. from the equation, like what have been some of your most memorable or beloved characters that you know you you hold on to? Oh wow, that's a great question. Um. Well, Abe, Abe for sure. You know, it was it was great to step into that gangster world. Um, Puby Blues, I think Martin Vickers was. Um, he's he's right up there for me because he was. Um, it was such a beautiful show, incredible show, and and you know, in the seventies, no one knew what you know, Spectrum was, and so I think you know he was just a weirdo to everyone. But now we, we all know oh, he's probably just high functioning on the Spectrum, or you know. Bit, yep. Overprotective father, and but he, yeah, he was he was a great character, and I, I really enjoyed playing him because he was very different to myself. And um, what else? Um, the dry, I, I'm really loving, and which the force force of nature is about to be released yep. next year, so I'm in that again, playing Eric Banner's character's father in yep. flashbacks, which is exciting, and I just um. Lost Flowers of Alice Hart. I just did a guest role on that, which I got to work with Sigourney Weaver, and that was amazing. A, probably one of the nastiest people I've ever played. So, ha. Uh, <laughs> I look forward to that. One of the nastiest people you've ever worked with. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, she's, she's undoubtedly one of the best I've ever worked with. It's just the first day on set, I knew, wow, you, you know, you're in the presence of greatness. She is incredible. Never a complaint, never like just always a sense of humor and just a p- true professional. So, and that yeah, was shot here, the, that was shot here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just been released, got nominated for 10 actor awards. Oh, of course, um, it was, yes, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I'm going to get into that. It's, um, it's amazing, it's, 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 it's mesmerizing. And so, Glenn and I, the director, is a really good mate of mine. And, um, is yeah, that, so, um, is that from the um, like uh, Bruna Papandrea? Yeah, made yeah. up stories. Yeah, yeah, who, uh, yeah. Who I've just started shooting the last anniversary with. Um, cool. This is my fourth job with them. They just told me, which is pretty exciting. They said you get five with us, you get a t-shirt. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the t-shirt for sure. No, they're <laughs> amazing to work with. Incredible, Bruna and Steve uh, and Jody Madison. They're just incredible. And yeah. and yeah, the crew they get around them and everyone just you know climbing over themselves to work with them again and again so mm, awesome um one thing we like to ask everybody before we we wrap this up is to sort of what yep. kind of movies you generally gravitate towards in your downtime and quite often the answer is the opposite of what we expect but where do you go when you're you're in your downtime and you have to, some time to watch movies 
Oh, that's such a good question. And with three kids under 10. <laughs> yeah, Paw <laughs> Patrol. <laughs> yeah, Paw Patrol. Look at Peppa Pig. Uh, frozen? No, not, not anymore, luckily. Um, um, that's a good question. I mean, I really love the Planet of the Apes films. I really love, like, tr- Transformer films, like films that, that I can just, I don't have to think, and they're just literal popcorn entertainment yeah yeah but, but then you know I, I love a good film you know comedy my wife and i do love to sit down and watch a good comedy or a romantic comedy just to try and say everything's okay <laughs> we, <laughs> we're doing a great job everything's <laughs> gonna be fine yeah <laughs> do you um, have a favorite comedy asking the tough ones tropic now. thunder oh yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> Absolutely, good answer. Good answer. Yeah, yeah, Which love is, it. Uh, yeah, right up there. Awesome. Well, um, Jeremy, thank you so much for making time for us. It's been a pleasure. Kane's great, and um, I hope everyone tracks it down and discovers it and and gets on board. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks, Ben. Let's rewind. To be truly honest, the last 24 hours feels like a dream. You could feel something bad was coming. See, in this business, it's all about doing and reacting to what's happening around you. This is Abe, my boss. Police are no closer to solving these gangland execution-style murders. See, Abe is a gangster, old school. Yeah, job needs to be done the next 24 hours. The thing is, Abe suffers from DID, multiple personalities. Some of us are thrown into this world by chance. But Kane, Abe's most dangerous personality. Kane was created for this world. I had no idea how dangerous he really was. You looking at dog?